What's going on guys, JT back with another video, so I am back, um, I haven't been making videos in a while, I've uh, just been quite busy, and I'm back today, I'm going to be doing a quick re review on the Duke of Death, uh, I know I'm a bit late, but I'm going to do it anyways, because why not, so you guys can buy it on the Wallstock Cash and Carry website, um, it does sell for $665,000, um, if you guys are saving up for it, this will be a good video uh, to talk to you guys about um, how it works and what type of upgrades are on it and if it is worth it, alright? So I'm going to do a quick review on it. I'm going to customize it as well in this video to show you guys uh, the type of customization it has. And yeah, let's get on to the video. Actually, just before we get on to the video, I just want to say thank you and welcome to all of the new subscribers. Um, I've had I've had a bunch of um, support lately, and I just want to thank you everyone for clicking that subscribe button and welcome to the channel. All right, so first glances at the Duke of Death. This is what it looks like. If you guys haven't seen already, I'm pretty sure you guys have obviously already seen this car. Um, first glances, it looks like a tank. Um, it does look bulletproof, but I don't think it is. Um, I think it can take four explosives or four rockets to. Uh, the car before it uh, before it actually explodes so yeah um, that's how it looks it looks like a tank it looks really cool and let's get on to the upgrade so um, you can see I'm fully upgrading everything um, the, the bad thing about this is it actually doesn't have as much upgrades as it should um, it does look like it has a lot of upgrades but when you actually go into the uh, to actually customize it it doesn't have much uh, to customize it's just all the normal stuff uh, you guys can do nothing extra. Um, I th would have thought that you guys can actually do some extra stuff to it, but you actually can't. Yeah, and the uh, special thing about this is once you guys buy it, you can actually store this in your garage. So if you guys haven't realized, uh, it is from the cash, uh, the Wallstock uh, website. So usually you can't really store stuff from the Wallstock website, but uh, you guys can store this in your garage. So that's a pretty cool thing about this. So if you guys do have the money to buy this, I do recommend you buy it because it's a pretty fun car to have in your garage whenever you want to drive it. Um, if you guys are wondering, there really isn't any money glitches right now that are working or any easy money glitches right now. Um, if you guys want to have or be the first to know about any new glitches that come out, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, link will be in the description below and I will make sure to update you guys on any money glitches that do uh, come up. Alright, so now I'm just going to go on to actually driving it and let you guys know how it drives and how it handles and the speed for this vehicle. Um, if you guys want to do, uh, if you guys want me to do a speed test on this car against any other car, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys haven't seen um, any of my other speed test um, videos, it'll be up on the screen right now if you guys want to go ahead and watch any of those videos. And yeah, let's get on to seeing how this car sounds and how it drives. Alright, so it sounds pretty cool. Um, it does sound, I guess, exactly the same as any other muscle car. Um, I, the speed is actually pretty good for this car. Uh, as you guys know, it is a muscle car and the speed for this muscle car is actually pretty good. Um, I don't think um, it could be as fast as the um, other muscle cars. Um, I can't exactly remember which muscle car is the fastest, but if you guys want me to do a speed test uh, with this Duke of Death and any other muscle car, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Uh, overall, I think the handling is not too bad, um, and I guess this car is worth the money. Um, if you guys are rich in GTA 5, uh, it is worth the money, but if you guys um, are just starting out, you don't really need to get this car. Uh, there are many better cars out there to actually get, um, for example, supercars instead of getting this car because obviously they're faster, but yeah, this car is pretty fun to play with. Uh, that really is all for the video and just a quick re review on this car. I have a few um, GTA 5 glitches coming your way, so make sure you stay tuned for that and subscribe if you guys are new. So that's really all for the video. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and I will catch you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, uh, drop a like on the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.